um, hello out there. So, uh, this is going to be my first review, and you might think it's on Lego, but no. See that there? It's just my Lego tank, Lego plane, Lego aircraft carrier with tower, and Lego bomber that looks so ugly with a gunner that's totally exposed, and a tiny go-kart with pliers, and a dead man hit by a shiny cannonball. Enough of that. Let's get on to our main topic. It's the da 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 uh, Snap Circuit Pro built over five hundred exciting projects. To, okay, so yeah, you can see the box here. Not too fancy. Has a nice picture. Open the cover and what do we get? But well, here is a parts list is on all the different components sorry about the focusing but these different these circles have numbers and letters in them for example R R1 X1 L1 all kinds of different components and things you would get in the set this is handy to put everything back into the set you get three manuals. Uh, I manual number one, which is here. Here, it is. Is it, let me put it down. Experiments. It's one to one o one. Here is better, and it has a picture on it. it so, if we open it up, we'll get a small parts list, some directions, open it up further, too far, we'll get back to home, open it up here. It will tell you the basics about building a set, here is all the components, this is a review, here are all the different components and what they do. But this ain't all of the components, just a couple. Here are a couple more, and the three starting units, and I can see the shadow. Let's not talk about that. Flip the page, and we'll start. Here is a list of the different projects you can will find in this book. You probably can't read that. Too blurry. Now... Over here, we have our project number one, which is electric light and switch. Here's the light, here's the battery, here's the switch, and the wire here. Then two is very similar, just with a motor and a fan instead. The fan blows downward, slows upwards, causing the fan blade to push down onto the motor which makes the blade not fly up. The motor works in both in two directions. Now, that's, and now just a quick sample of the different projects. It's, don't have all day for this. So, you don't get very many different tool parts in this section of the booklet. So, yeah, pretty boring for a pro. Then book two is a little more exciting. You get introduced to more components. But, oh, my mistake, here's book two. It's green and has another picture on it. Wait, let's throw it to find another parts list which is kind of confusing but three has a third part list which is just making me dizzy so for counting parts i would just go back to this part sheet 
and then tell them as you're putting them away. So, skipping the list, we go straight to the more about your snap circuit parts. Now, I'm judging you already own a snap circuit. If you don't, I'll get into more detail later. Now, here's the nice thing. There's troubleshooting, which means if you happen to think one of your parts is a, is a dud, you can just look over here or in one of the other two manuals to find out, out whether your part's a dud or it might be something else. Or maybe you have built the circuit incorrectly. If it is a dud, visit the Snap Circuit website. They sell individual parts. Now, for, for electrical components, this is a little more complex, but the real one that I like, I built and is still in completely built. Now, the complex one is shown here on the cover of Project Book 3 and is on the cover of the box. It's right here. Here's the circuit itself. If I just laid it over here, you got components, uh, more components, speaker, light, and the switch. If I turn it on, it takes a moment for these things to get up. Notice that the green is more or less solid yet, and the red is on, and the five looks a little weirdish through the camera. Trust me, it looks much better in real life. Now, if we do the variable switch, right, variable resistor, should I say, we can change the speed of the tapping noise, and the meter goes silly. And we can control the flickering, even though you cannot see it through the camera. But trust me, it's a lot better in real life. So, a quick review of all the components you get. I'm trying to do this in the set for seven and a half minutes now. So, we get our basic battery switch. Then we get a dot seven, green, green, red. We also get a, a meter, a variable resistor, a D3, five resistors, five capacitors. There's all different. The four units plus the three here plus the one there. Then we have the S3, the U6 recording IC, a motor fan, variable capacitor. A1, not sort of like antenna, a transformer, an FM module, and a couple of light bulb sockets. Now, now if you treat this carefully, it will last a long time. If you treat this recklessly, it will break pretty soon. So I advise not to get it with a family of rough kids. I do recommend it to the older people, like in the teenage area, who are very fascinated with mechan electronics, should I say. Oh, you also get wires, two of them. They're very long. So, to sum it up, it's a pretty good set. I, I rate it a, a nice 8.5. Right now, little bit planets on my head. So, yeah. So, overall, I'll give it a pretty good rating. Uh, I want to erase what I just said. So, and for those who don't know about this, all the pieces have little snaps. They just hook into each other. I'm in a deadline. I have to go now. So, bye and hope for my next review. Sorry my Legos took so long. Bye. Okay. This is just getting ridiculous. I might edit at the 10 mark.